Alright, 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 boys and girls, it's time for another Black Eden GTA 5 housing review. And this time, we've headed a little bit more north up in the map to uh, 1893 Grapeseed Avenue. Um, as you can see, 118,000 schmuckos, but we'll talk about that later. Let's let's get to uh, terms with what's actually in the house. So as we approach now, obviously a nice peaceful neighbourhood, um, <laughs> The house doesn't particularly stand out. No, it's um, it's quite a basic little sort of shack, flat. Anything you sort of tend to find in Sandy Shores, Palato Bay, you know, these these kind of houses. Um, it's quite a small house, but it does have a garden. Now, if we pan around, you can see a little air conditioning unit, a couple of bushes, and a lot of shit, a lot of litter in the garden, um, which of course you can't clean up. So, yeah, there it is, just there in the uh, the corner of Grapeseed. Uh, like I said, Grapeseed is actually a really nice place to live, but is it defendable from the police? No, it's not. There's hardly anywhere to hide, and as you're going to find out, you you always receive a battering if you uh, let the police chase you here. There's the garage. Um, backs straight onto the drive, so you can just drive straight into your garage. But if we take a look at the interior now, um, we're going to find that basically it is just a standard copy and paste uh, low-end interior, but that's not going to stop me reviewing it, so here we go. So as you walk in, you're greeted with your kitchen. Uh, now you've got a couple of pictures of people you don't even know and aren't related to. And then if you move over to the kitchen, it's lit by a, solely a couple of candles. You've got a beer, a loaf of bread, a pot noodle, and a kettle. And a working radio, forgot to mention that. It's a deal breaker, that is. Um, yeah, there's a nice little, nice little table. Of course, you've got your bong, but you can actually seat five people in this little communal area. So, I mean, as much as it would be nice to have a fireplace instead of a shitty radiator, it's not bad. Um, the, the flooring is a bit ripped up and I do not want to even review the bathroom because, well, it's tiny. There's a shower, sitting in the toilet. So as we head into the um, the little double bedroom, which seems to be based on a teenager's room, you've got your wardrobe there, you can get changed. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. But we're going to head out of the apartment now, and, and that is it, by the way. That's the entire apartment. Into the garage. Now, this is one of the apartments which you can actually travel from the apartment to the garage without having to leave. And as you can see, it's your standard two-car, low-end interior um, garage. You've got room for two cars and a bicycle. Not a motorbike, but a bicycle. So you can have, you know, your Lamborghini, your Sultan, and your, uh, your BMX. So as we head out now, I'm going to be looking at local commodities because, after all, that's what most people buy houses for these days on GTA 5. So hop into the uh, SUV now, and we're going to take a little drive around the area, see what we've got. Oh, accidentally go into an RV there, but look, we got a nice little supermarket on the right. Now, notably about this house, there's a lot of NPCs that stand around nearby, so, yeah, a bit dodgy. But there's a closed door, just like the houses up in Palato Bay, closed door is in easy access. And that little flammable canister there on the right, that is actually an arm wrestling station, so you can do your arm wrestling, all that sort of stuff. Um, but you're backing onto a lot of fields here uh, at 1893 Grapeseed Avenue, a lot of fields, and uh, we'll touch on that later, but there's a little petrol station just across the road, so you can park up and look shady as fuck. As you can see, we have a very nice beach. I don't even know if we can really call it a beach, because it, it's a lake, it's not the sea. But it's uh, relatively nice and long, so you know, take your uh, friends down there, spend the day at the beach, by all means. Um, actually, the uh, other side of the sort of... Basically, this backs onto Mount Chiliad, so the other side of sort of Chiliad, as we pan around now, is, uh, is like a weird little sort of dock area. You can go down there, um, and there's a there's basically a gang attack, but it's a very nice area. There's, you know, there's some boats, there's a little jetty. Really nice place, as long as you don't take the piss out of the locals. that cheeky little middle finger we were off to go and check out the main point of the house and that is all of the dirt tracks and fields and rocks and everything that's nearby makes this house ideal for anybody who sort of does a lot of dirt biking maybe a bit of quad biking um i can't express it enough really that the place seems to be built for a little trials run lots and lots of uh, little jumps 
lots of hills, you can pop on your back wheel and have a good time. Furthermore, as, as mentioned, this attaches to Chiliad, this, well it's at the bottom of Chiliad this house, so there's actually a really nice route you can go down on a little dirt bike. Now I fuck up here, oh, <laughs> but uh, we'll show you the little first person route because uh, it definitely is one of the best things about this house. As you can see, the route carries on going through all of the grapeseed area. So you can absolutely tear it on your Sanchez or your Manchez. But yeah, so is it worth the money? 118 grand, that is excessively cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is for the, for the location, the commodities. 1893 Grapeseed Avenue is quite the desirable house.